about a year ago, I made this DIY screen printing screen rack for my shop, and it's safe to say it's been a game changer. Now, for several months now, you all have been requesting for me to make a video on this and how exactly I made it for under a hundred bucks. Now, this thing has been a beast, but you know what the best part is? I'm gonna take you along in making this video. Now this thing has been a total game changer and it really saved me a lot of money because we all know screen print, screen racks, those racks are up in the 300s, $400 and I made this in under 100 bucks. After many requests about this drying cabinet, I think it's time we finally cook this video up and show you exactly how it's made. What's going on everybody? My name is Bob from Aesthetic Imprints and I run a custom apparel printing company based out of my parents' basement. And in today's video, I'm gonna take you along building this screen print screen rack. But the best part is, I've been using this for a year now, so I know what needs to change and what doesn't need to change. But so far, I had zero complaints about this thing and everything has been great. The other issue I have is I never got to finish in this door. So as you can see, the inside, I mean, the outside looks pretty good, except for this side. The inside is still brown and we don't like that. We gotta make it black. So in this new one, we're gonna definitely make the door black and fix it and finish it. And then other than that, everything else was great. We're gonna use the same two by threes and then yeah. Now the best part is I literally sat here and thought about how to make this the best experience for you guys and make it as easy as possible. So I literally drew it all out with all the measurements. I'll make a neater version of this and put it right here on the screen or go in the description down and download that PDF or JPEG or whatever it is. This will just be so you can read it, look at it, um, see what you need, see exactly what supplies you need. But I'm a visual learner, so let's go learn on hand. Come on here and blabber a bunch of names, dimensions, and sizes of wood you need. Let's just go to Lowe's or your local wood store and go get the wood supply. So go ahead and do me a favor, give this video a like, go ahead and show me some love. Let's go. All right, now it's time to start cutting because I got everything painted and it looks nice. It's like a matte color, looks fire. But now I'm gonna go ahead and have what I need to cut like this, I will have in the description. So go ahead and make sure you download that cut list. But this is what we're gonna cut.
here's who what we got going on. You guys probably can't see me, but this is the layout of what we're gonna be using. Here is the brief breakdown. These are basically seven foot pieces because I want this shelf to be seven foot long. And then this is the foundation because this is how everything will be structured like this. And then these are basically the shelves that are gonna hold the um, screens. And then this is basically the outside wall. So I think it's time to start cooking this up. So the first things first, I'm gonna build the side wall. This side wall is basically what's gonna have these bars going across, which is gonna hold the screens. So first things first, let's use our pocket holes and drill a hole through here. Now I'm just gonna use these pocket holes and connect the wood. Just as you need. And I'm going to do it for all four sides. Saturday, I promise you guys this video Sunday, which is tomorrow, the 21st of November. I promise this video. Right now, it's literally midnight, so it's basically Sunday. I had all my chips in this basket, thinking everything was done right. And now this happens at midnight. It's just elf after elf. I don't even know what I'm going to do. This video is just going to turn into a build with me kind of video where you can just, I'm going to be real and just show you how this, like I, I take L's, I take, I take plenty of L's, if you haven't noticed that in my videos, I take plenty of L's, but I don't let that stop me, 
you guys are just going to learn from this. Learn from my mistakes. Damn. So basically, I got to take these two, separate these two pieces, and then go cut these four pieces a quarter inch on each side. Learn from my mistakes. I'll have the right numbers for y'all down here. Then it'd be snug tight and the screens are a struggle to take out but this looks like it fit perfectly now let's try to put up the side walls now these long pieces that we cut up is basically for the sides i'm gonna line it up to the front as you can see i cut this one short as well that's my measuring there's just you know i'm just gonna be transparent with y'all something was just off with everything i did on this but I got it to work still, but you guys can learn from my mistakes, like I said, and fix it. But now I'm just gonna hold this here and use the same nail gun and nail it in. Make sure it's straight. Now I just wrapped up finishing painting it all black, whatever was missing and needed to be painted black. But here's how it looks. As you can see, the wood doesn't look the best, but if I would have sanded it, it would have looked better, but I really did not want to sand it. So I just did it how it is and it still turned out well. And at the end of the day, it's just gonna hold screens. Doesn't need to be the most beautiful. It's gonna be closed majority of the time but here's this one this one is a, a lot nicer because i sanded this did a lot more work on this painted it did these red as you could see and this turned out well as well Woo! there it is everybody as you can see the screen rack is all done and it turned out great but everything wasn't for it was bumpy roads as you saw when I cut this one a little too long, but I ended up adjusting it and cutting it to the right size. But other than that, everything does look good. The screens are on there, everything looks good. This one holds about 19 screens. This one is seven foot long. So as you can see, I mean, I fit in here with this screen right here and I have more up there so I can put more as well. So there's definitely a lot of space. And I added this door just by putting these little hinges right here and yeah. Another thing that I did forget to do was add the ceiling, but that's easy. Just use your excess from this and just add it up there. It should be good to go. But this is the way I made it. I just wanted to take you guys along the process with me. Now, I do feel like I let you guys down by messing up like that, but this channel is all about transparency -ness, and I'm being just real with you guys, showing you the behind the scenes. And yes, I took L's, but two L's makes a W, so I'm just going to always fight through the L's. And everything did work out great at the end of the day. The screen rack is made, and this thing is, this thing is big. I don't even know where I'm putting it. 
Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is just how I made it. Go ahead and add your own touch to it, add your own style to it, make it how you like, make it the size you like, make your adjustments, and make sure you measure your screens. Double measure, triple measure, don't do what I did. But the other first one turned out great. This one's great as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. And always remember, no grind, no glory. And if you want to learn more about screen printing, go ahead and splurge on my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and check out my videos. I'll show you behind the scenes, t-shirt printing and all that. And I'll see you all in the next one.